Yeah, you
to go ahead and have a seat. Now I know you are super excited for spring break, but I need you to stay very, very quiet today. And we're going to see what's going on in the clubhouse. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Zebra Zone. I'm Miss Amy, and this is my co-host, Mrs. Smith. <gasps> now, who's this Mrs. Spick, Mrs. Smith of whom you speak? I'm Patty. What, Patty? Why don't you go ahead and tell these good people out here why we're here at Seabrook? I. This is where the young kiddos come to learn the luck of the Irish. Uh, what about big ideas? Oh uh, yeah, that's where I was going. The big ideas, yeah. Um, you need to know. The, you need to have the luck of the Irish to learn the big ideas. No, no, no. Anybody can learn big ideas, right? Big ideas are character traits that we learn and grow in, and when we show those big ideas, we can actually change the world around us. Now, that's better than luck, wouldn't you say? Yeah, speak for yourself. <laughs> okay, then. It's going to be that kind of day, is it? Why don't you go ahead and reveal our big idea for this month, Patty? Oh. Hi, my little friend, what a good idea. And all of you young'uns out there, why don't we do a wee bit of a drum roll on your legs? Ah, uh, fantastic. Back where I'm from, we call that a bob ram. I thought you were from Indiana. Me hot from Ireland. Of course it is. Okay, kids, are you ready? One, two, three. filled with Legos instead. Patience! Waiting until later for what you want now. Oh, All right, good job, y'all. Now we're going to get on with the real business of the day. Uh, no, this is the real business of the day. Oh no, Mrs. Amy, I can wait no longer to reveal to you Patty O. Furniture's top five things we love about St. Patty's Day. Don't you think this can wait until after Zebra Zone? Oh no, it was would be a crime. Without further ado, I give you number five. Getting to eat all the marshmallows in your lucky charms. No, that's just disgusting. Oh no, when all you eat is potatoes, those little crunchy bits are a real treat, my friend. Moving on, number four. The number four thing about St. Patty's Day is turning all the water in your toilets green. Mrs. Smith, no! Oh, don't well, they do it? They turn a whole river green in uh, the Irish land of Chicago. Uh, no, that's not the same thing at all, kids. Do not do this at home. Number three. dun da da, -da. My dish, oh! Would you hold this, please, Mrs. Amy? I have to show you all the fantastic corned beef. I love to eat corned beef. This is corned beef. I think that's on their list. Let me take that for you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now, without further ado, number two. Um, listening to some wicked bagpipes. <laughs> Actually, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that one. That's enough. Let's move it on out of here. We're going to let these good people see what's happening at the clubhouse. Dance your way on off the stage now. You need to tell them, you know, they, when you're sliding no. down the, the banister of, of life, may the splinters never point the wrong way. No, no, no. And, and may your troubles be as few and far between as my grandmother's front teeth. <laughs> Those people out there said we're in here because we're guaranteed. I 
everything is pretty full, cool, we can be guaranteed. It's quarantine, Vanessa, not guaranteed. Oh, okay. That's not to say that like it's a bad thing. Well, no, no, it's not a bad thing. It's just a precaution. See, you three need to stay in here for 24 hours because you've been hanging out with Gordo and he has been diagnosed with poxemia. It's very contagious. Poxemia. I heard if you get poxemia, your eyes get huge, your teeth fall out, and your skin turns a bright color. Oh. You mean we're going to turn into muffins? No. Yeah, I want to be that green one that lives in the trash can. No, no. Like I said, it's not a big deal. You guys just need to show patience and follow a few simple rules, OK? Rest and drink plenty of water. Oh, well, that sounds kind of easy. Mm -hmm. Oh, and take your temperature every hour and report to me any spike in temperature. I feel warmer. I have a fever. I have poxemia. No, Tracy, Tracy, you can't take your own temperature. Here, can't take let me your take it. No, it's normal. Step. Thank you for that uh, diagnosis. I can care. She's not mine. Okay. Well, oh, and finally, most importantly, whatever you do, do not try to go outside until you have been cleared by me. Okay? If you do, action will be taken to ensure you are safely quarantined in here for 24 hours. Have fun, you kidding. Action will be taken? What do you think that means? 24 hours in the same room? What are we going to do for that long? I get impatient waiting for a hot pocket to microwave. I'm going to, I'm going to go crazy. Yeah, I'm going to go crazy. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Tracy, Tracy, get it together. Remember when they told us we had to come here? We decided that we would just play, just dance for 24 hours, like a marathon. Well then, what are we waiting for? Get your game console all set up. No, no, not my game console. You said you were going to bring your game console. Oh, no, no, no. You had the latest version that said that you would bring yours. I did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did not touch infinity. Well, what are we going to do without just dance? Well, I don't know. We're doomed. No, doomed. no, no. We'll think we're talking. No, no. What, what's that? What is that? That is Grandpa Henry's checkerboard gate. Oh, well, we could just do that. And, well, let me just find the controllers. You know, we need those. Mm, Vanessa. Those? Checkers. Board. You're bored. That was only like 20 seconds.
It's like I lost all common sense. See, as you know, yesterday was my birthday. And last night, my parents gave me this new handheld video game I've been wanting. It plays videos and music too, and it can even surf the net. It was awesome, I couldn't wait to play it. Well, after what seemed like 20 straight hours of playing with it, I'd almost beaten the first big boss in level three. That is, until my mom came in to say goodnight. She wanted me to stop playing and get some rest for school tomorrow. So, of course, she took the game. That's okay. I needed to sleep. Maybe I would dream about how to beat level three. Well, this morning I woke up and couldn't wait to play my new game. Well, of course, when I went downstairs, my game was replaced with a bowl of cereal. I mean, really, who needs food when the galaxy's fate is in your hands? I managed to scarf down my food and was about to be late for the bus when I saw it there. I knew kids weren't allowed to bring these games to school, but I just couldn't wait. I had to see how far I could get. Plus, it's new. Maybe the teachers would cut me some slack. Boy, was I wrong. I just couldn't stop playing with the game. I couldn't wait until I got home. I just had to play that game at school. And, of course, I got caught. I don't know what came over me. I knew I wasn't supposed to play this game at school. I wasn't even supposed to have it with me. But I just couldn't wait. Now, well, I have to go to the principal's office to see if I can even get it back. Looks like I'm gonna miss out on saving the galaxy for a while. Well, gotta go talk to the principal. Again, I'm sorry. And hopefully, I can be more patient in the future. Yours patiently, Tim.
Well, this looks pretty cool. Well, well actually it is. Matter of fact, you might consider, uh, uh, instead of trying to bust out of here, actually like reading that book and learning something about patience. Gordo does not really have poxemia. <laughs> no poxemia? Well, what was it then? Uh, um, it was a reaction he had to something in the school cafeteria. It was the, the meatloaf. Oh. <laughs> well, anyway, sorry to keep you guys all cooped up in here. You can go ahead and head home. Well, that's no problem. We've just been learning how to be patient. Right, Marshall? Yeah, that's, that, that's right. Yeah, patience. <laughs> while waiting for the teacher during math stations. The winner this month is Miss Ava Thomas. Hey! Can you hop up there? Oh my goodness, look at you. How's it going, girl? I'm so proud of you. So you were waiting patiently, and it was during math, and were other kids not being patient? being patient and you were probably showing them how to do it weren't you you know what I heard that you are just an awesome all-around girl and that you're always very helpful and very sweet so I am so excited to give you the swag bag okay you're welcome do you want to get your zebra from Zebby that's cute huh and then I will bring that 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 bag down to your classroom okay so you can take it home with you does that sound good okay all right give Ava another big 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 hand Boys and girls, we are going to continue on with the show. We have just a little bit more for you. I want to just tell you how much fun we've had this year, and I want you to all have a great time over spring break. Get lots of rest. This is really important. Are you ready? How do you show me you're ready? By being quiet. Okay. This is the most important thing. Over spring break, I want you to read books, okay? Do not leave your books at Columbia. I want you to take books home and I want you to read over break. Read with mom and dad, let them read to you. Two weeks is a long time to be gone from school and you can't stop reading, okay? Will you do that for me?
show your teachers some good patience today by being good listeners and being obedient to what they ask you to do today. Do you think that you could do that? Give me a thumbs up if you think you can do that today. Let me see. Let me see those thumbs. Second grade's a little iffy. They don't know if they can be patient today. I know it's hard. We can do it. For now, though, boys and girls, it's time for us to say goodbye. You're going to have to